ladies and gentlemen. I am Yolandi Skere, and this is my partner, James Kennedy. Our product, primarily conceptualized by myself, has recently been nominated for the inaugural World Design Impact Prize, hosted by EXIT, the International Council on Societies of Industrial Design. What is the meaning of the name Bayer? Bayer is a play on the word Bayer, meaning many, much, or very, in the Afrikaans language, one of the 11 official languages of South Africa. Baya thus refers to the table's multifunctionality aspects. Growing up in a continent where education is a major social issue, we have embarked on a mission to find a possible solution through design as a discipline. We have found abundant proof in our research that there is a test shortage in the rural and lower income schools, play schools, libraries, etc. throughout South Africa and Africa as a continent. The frame of reference between education and success has not been introduced in the majority of children around the world, especially in Africa, whereas the more fortunate Western society children has been educated with technology far out of reach financially or practically for developing communities in the foreseeable future. According to a paper published in December 2010, the Western Cape alone has a shortage of over 110,000 school desks. That's shocking. Our vision is to provide these problem areas with a multifunctional children's table desk named Bayer. The idea to develop the needs of children aged 3 to 12 to, the, to stimulate their cognitive and motor skills. The table will foster their own creativity and will develop social interaction as it seats up to four children. The solution, the bio multifunctional DIY children's table or desk. It is a table that serves as a standard flat surface tabletop and on the reverse side, there is a blackboard. And once you slide the blackboard away, a drafts or chessboard is revealed. It is a function within a function. Be sure to look at it for, be sure to look out for it in the video you will see at the end of the presentation. Just to explain to the people around here what the material is we're going to be manufacturing this from. Um, it is Zanita board. I'm sure most of you are, most designers around Cape Town are, are familiar with this. And um, it's produced, produced mostly from post-consumer recycled paper waste, 90% to be exact. Uh, the other 10% new paper is sugarcane pulp and peelings, which is also a byproduct. No wax or polyethylene is used in the manufacturing process allowing the board to be easily repulped back into recycling, uh, back into paper and into tables after use. Uh, it shows excellent stability in indoor conditions and the material has a better fire rating than standard MDF or superwood as it houses too little oxygen for rapid combustions and no chemicals as fuel for fires and it exhibits a dry crash strength of approximately 90 tons per square meters. The table legs are four times interchangeable. So one has the option of having a yellow and yellow, red and yellow, blue and red, or blue and yellow combination by simply flipping the table leg. Research has shown that children, children's favorite colors are yellow, red, and then blue. That's explaining the primary color choice. Children that fit the three to 12 age group are able to learn, create, and accomplish new skills, thereby developing a sense of industry. The several activities present in the table fulfill the need for a young child to be learning new skills. What started off as a third year industrial design project initiated by Zanita, the manufacturing company, it has now however transformed into something we believe can tackle the root problem our world faces on a daily basis, which is education. As members of the younger industrial design generation, we feel that this table will make a positive impact on our social, economic, cultural, and environmental quality of life. Our vision is thus for large corporations, organizations, and the public to prove their support to education in impoverished societies and developing countries by sponsoring this initiative by donating a desk to a child in need of education with education being the most successful passage out of poverty. 
we want to prove that with something as simple as a well-designed iconic table, we can link that concept of education to successfully trained artisans, world leaders, in the minds of young, less fortunate future generations. I believe this can be done by something as simple as a gift from you and me to them, to the children of Africa. Nelson Mandela said, education is the great engine to personal development. With your help and support, we can create more of these happy faces. 